Hi folks, uh, I'm not out prospecting today, or I will be later, but not for gold, I'll be out for mushrooms due to the fact that I've cut me on quite badly so I can't pan and I can't get it wet, even with a rubber glove I, I can't pull it apart. But anyway, so I'm doing a video, I've got a question from Dam Square and uh, thanks for that because <laughs> it gives me an opportunity to do a video. Um, about basic stuff, he's just starting out, he's just getting into it. So anybody who wants to put any more advice in comments underneath uh, is welcome. Mr. Daz P, I know you're into crevicing and uh, you're getting some good results from, from that. Uh, but my equipment and why I carry it, I don't do much crevicing here because the well, I don't get bedrock. It's mostly mud and uh, conglomerates and there's not cracks like in bedrock. So although I do have some equipment just to be safe. <laughs> And anybody else who's got any comments or questions, then feel free to ask and uh, I'll get on with it. It's nice to be nice. So guys, the absolute bare minimum I would have to go out and do a bit of prospecting. This is self, so speaks for itself, don't it, a pan. This is a Klondike special. I prefer this to the Garrett, I've got to say. It's got a wider bottom and I find that a bit for me personally. And Garrett's a good pan. I've got a Garrett set which consists of that, the green pan and the small cleaning out pan. But I find, like I've just said, the bottoms, it's not as wide a bottom. So when you're washing bike, that's much better for finer stuff, I find it. Personal opinion. Something to shovel with, be it that, something like that. That's what I carry in my pack. If I'm just going for a wander and trying to test some places, I carry that in my pack rather than long shovel. Long shovel is a lot better due to the fact that it doesn't hurt your back as much. With a long, long handle, so and the shovel I always got a metal handle, and it was only two francs more than the one with the wooden handle. So, but that's something to shovel. Other thing is a snuffer bottle. Now, this I bought when I were in Scotland. This is from uh, Caledonian, it was from Stall, so I'm sure you can look them up on the internet. And I think uh, Mr. Daz P might have got a link to that. And another place I, you can get stuff from, from in UK, I'll show you something I bought from that later, is uh, a place called goldrushuk.co.uk. I'll put a link to that as well and show you what that is. But that's your bare minimum. Well, it's not really. So, another thing that I always have is just a pocket knife. I mean, this has got a fire starter on it, and I do use it, it's fun. But that's a minimum. I'd have that in my pocket. I have that's in my pocket every day. So bare minimum toilet paper. <laughs> Not being funny. That can save your life, or at least your underwear, <laughs> depending where you are. And there's no toilets or whatever. Absolute minimum. But the most most important thing I take with me every time I go out, whether it's in woods or in uh, river gold panning, it is first aid kit. Reason being is accidents happen um, there's a lot of glass in rivers uh, in some places I find a lot of glass it's not usually sharp because it's been washed in the river but there's some fresh stuff because some idiots throw a bottle in the river uh, there's a lot of steel steel wire stuff that will poke you stuff that will cut you stuff that will scratch you I would say also some gloves you know what I mean if, you, if you're washing through your pan some gloves is worth it they, keep your, they make your hands cold rather than warm by the way but or some big in winter I have some big rubber gloves you know and if I'm down there and it's like minus whatever <laughs> null grad or minus then them rubber gloves help but that is probably the most important thing but my way it are I've, I go to a place on the river down here it's two minutes front road but if I hurt myself I still need uh, first aid possibly quickly if that would have been uh, that managed to stick in my wrist here if it had been a centimetre across there uh, so a couple of centimetres across there I might not be here to tell the tale I'll tell you so I've got some nerve damage off that so that and I'll show you some other stuff now so what I've got here this is my would be crevicing kit now there's no bedrock here where I would live it's um, well up now if it's um, conglomerate so it's like concrete and you get pebbles all wash out and leave a dip and gold can catch in there uh, or there's, a, there's moss basically this is just a couple of screwdrivers a scraper that's good for getting moss off you know uh, a brush to brush it down that same snuffer bottle or another snuffer bottle can you can snuff it out you can suck the stuff out 
uh, you can get turkey based uh, I've got another bottle which I've got a piece of tubing which is a, a drinks bottle you know like a yeah a drinks bottle with, with snap up lid and I've put a tube in that and that works exactly the same but bigger than that obviously this is just used for again for scraping stuff out and and cleaning up if there's there's a lot of look at uh, I would recommend looking at um, crevicing videos as I say if I know again Mr Daz has been doing some crevicing and getting some good results it's not the sort of area I live in so but that I've got that's usually in my car if I did come across some it I've got this kit just for that could improve it looking at some of uh, Daz's um, inventions let's say his tools he's made something here that's relatively cheap uh, and relatively easy to make it's just a pump and uh, again bedrock or anything that's like got a flat bottom with these shovels with a shovel like that uh, that's not flat you're not going to uh, be able to shovel stuff off the ground so a pump that'll, that'll suck it in this one's I made and when, as you pump it it catches dirt in this bottom bit and then you turn it to dip it rather than because there's various types you can buy them or you can make them this has just got a couple of blocks and some inner tube on it just as a seal and a rub, couple of rubber seals not difficult to make but works really well here's a longer one I made because I got I, I made this one because I found a big hole <laughs> and I couldn't get into it but with that I could reach bottom right right into it under the under some rocks basically here's my sluice this is this is a keen a51 now I'm not sure how much these are now you'd have to have a look on the internet but this this is this is a keen this is my go-to sluice um, reason being is it works and I can shovel into it I do have another sluice which also works but I have to run it a little bit slower than I can run this um, and I'll show you that I'd say it depends how much money you want to spend it's like boots normal Wellington boots you need them don't you but some higher boots or uh, bib and brace are good I have both I know I'm never going to probably never going to get the money back from them from gold I dig but it's about comfort it's not about how much gold I'm gonna get it is but it's not there's a lot more there's a lot more fun in what I'm doing than just the gold it's nice when you come back with some nice pieces but it's the relaxation as much as anything else this is another sluice I've got uh, this is uh, El Dorado and I bought that this from Gold Rush UK this that's 55 pound didn't come with that I put that ex I extended that myself and made that plate I find it better because I like the rubber mat it meant I could put a bit more material on it in actual fact and run it faster uh, I did have my doubts about this when I first bought it but after using it a couple of times it catches gold I just have to be more gentle with what I'm putting in it you know I can't put a shovel in like I can into this but that's a good option it's light without that it's, uh, it's it's light and, and not very long strap it on a bike bike strap it on a bike bike now you know what I mean buckets so if you're going to be sluicing you're going to need some buckets aren't you now these are 12 litres they're not big I can get 20 litres but I've tried with 20 litres <laughs> and what happens is you end up hurting your hands I can put some uh, you can put some tape or whatever or uh, hose pipe around these but these don't hurt my hands and you've got to also think when I'm well depending where you're working where I'm carrying stuff sometimes I'm walking quite a bit to where my sluice will run and if I've got 20 litre buckets I could half fill them I suppose but two of them is night that's enough that's enough to carry slippery floor you don't want to damage yourself you're not there to damage yourself you're there to have fun aren't you you know that's well I am <laughs> this is shovel I use this is uh, quite a good shovel um, I said it were cheap uh, it were, it were, I think it were about three francs, which is about two, two pound more than one with a wooden handle. And this has got a full steel handle, and it'll take some abuse, and it's had some abuse. So I'd highly recommend one of them if you're uh, getting into it instead of buying a wooden handle one. If you've got something already, use it. You know what I mean? That's free. On boots thing. I mean, I've got three pairs of boots. I think everybody's got a pair of normal wellies, haven't they? You know what I mean? They come up to you, well, just under your knee, sort of thing. But I, I wear these most of the time. I have, do have a full uh, waders, which I bought, and they cost about 100 francs. I don't know how much they'd cost in, in the UK, and so did waders. So 
I prefer, well, the waders are really good in winter. They keep you warmer. Uh, but they're good in summer because waders are hot in summer if you're digging. You just get caught in the sun and then it's like you're breeding maggots in there, you know what I mean? It's that hot and humid. <laughs> but they're my go-to boots. You can wear them, but every time I... Well, I do occasionally wear normal Wellingtons. On last video I was wearing them because I went going deep. But invariably, if you find a deep spot, you're going to go deeper than your wellies. And, uh, yeah, wet feet. In summer, maybe it's not so bad, but in winter, it's tragic, you know what I mean? So I would have gone for at least at least that height. And not for, if you don't get full weight, as beauty of them is you can fold them down and walk in them. And, you know. So something else I do carry all the time is a cup kit of some kind. Um, I used to carry a gas stove just so you can make a brew, cup of tea, coffee noodles depending where you are you know what I mean um, but if I'm gonna be out all day then I'm gonna want something to eat and it's nice to have an hot drink it's nice to have something hot you know so a cook kit is something I usually well, well always carry um, this is new to me I've only used it twice I made I boiled some water on it one time and I made an omelette last week in it <laughs> it was so but I like that that's a lot better it's nicer than um, gas bottle just for the single fact that it goes in there and it all packs in and I've got extra size where I need actually, actually, yeah, what can, how can I say that? That all packs in there so I've got a burner, four pans and even some storage for me for some food and some tea bags or coffee or whatever. And talking about cook kit things, this is some of what I'm just playing about with, which will be an option for to have a fire as well, a contained fire using sort of pine cones or whatever. I mean to focus, pine cones or whatever. I'm going to cut that down so that it fits inside that. And if I want to, I can do like that sort of thing where a top, lo a top lid, a, a top lit fire, maybe. I'm going to try it and test it out, see if it's enough depth. That's my main concern with that. But that's what I'm going to do with that. Something else I should have mentioned. But, like I said, depends how far you're going. If you're going out all day, or you're going out and you're going to be like a long hike to where you're going to go panning, then that should be your first aid kit. That's just a, a space blanket, just some cordage. You know, you can you've got to cover. Then if you fall in, <laughs> you're going to be wet. It could be cold. That's going to help you out a lot. You know, so I would carry at least one of them, even just to sit on if you haven't got a plastic bag. But I, I usually take a torch as well especially for longer trips I don't know if I'm just going down road because I'm fortunate enough to be able to just go down road from here but on a longer trip I'm going to take that because if it does rain you don't get them showers you know if it does rain it's much nicer to be sat under one of these making having a cup of tea than it is like mulching around in woods and there you go that's about all the kit this is that oh that's the uh, um, that bigger snuffer bottle works like a snuffer bottle exactly the same it'll trap gold you can squirt it into crevices and suck it out. I have used it, but not very often. And when I first started, I found I made this, and uh, there's not much better up. There's nothing really what I can use that for. That other big pump works perfect for what the conditions I've got here. And that's about that.